Today is Thursday, February the 28th, 2019. And we're quickly moving to the last day of this month. And we're finishing one-sixth of our year already. And I pray that your heart is being stirred toward Jesus in this year 2019 as we anticipate the coming of the Lord and we pray with John the Revelator even so come quickly Lord Jesus so in process that we're all in right now so we're in this journey we're studying the parable of uh, we're studying the parables of the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm, I'm reading again from Matthew 13 45 and 46 today about the parable of the pearl of great price again the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls who, when he has found the one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Now, this parable, repeated on the heels of the treasure hidden in a field, carries a similar theme. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking goodly pearls. If you and I are like the merchant, we're seeking for that which has unmatched value. And the kingdom of heaven is the right place to be searching. Years ago, nearly 20 years ago now, I was in the Los Angeles area in, in, on business. And, and my wife and I were about to celebrate our 30th anniversary. It had been my custom to every year give a traditional gift to my wife on that special day. And the 30th wedding anniversary is known traditionally to be the Pearl wedding anniversary. Now, Next to the financial district in downtown Los Angeles, it's what is called the jewelry district, or at least it was back then. And I, I headed down to that area, though I am not of great knowledge concerning jewelry, to say the least. There were so many stores filled with jewels, and I was eager to learn how to pick out the best pearl and the one which I could afford. I was not going to sell all that I had to buy a string of pearls, but I was for sure going to buy the best set of pearls or a pearl necklace that I could afford. I was accompanied by someone who was familiar with the area and, and their assistance was invaluable. And after a few hours of going from one wholesaler to another, uh, listening how to select a pearl and doing all these things and examining them, I, I purchased a, a, a pearl necklace uh, a beautiful pearl necklace from one of the wholesalers for my wife for our 30th wedding anniversary. Now, obviously, I didn't spend days and months. I had done some research in, previous to going to L.A. knowing that I was going to head down there to, to attempt to do this anyway. And, and I could tell you, I, I had a little knowledge, not a ton of knowledge, and I had to rely on the evidence that was presented to me. But I did know by the time I was purchasing that pearl necklace that I had bought something of quality. It was very important uh, to me that that would be true. Now the merchant in our parable was looking for one pearl of great price or great value. The one that would be a life changer for him. And he searched and bid for it until he was able to find it. And then he made the most important move he had ever made in his life. He went and sold everything he had, and he bought this one pearl. Now, it doesn't take us long to understand and perceive what the meaning of this parable is. It's very clear. The one thing worth giving up all that we have, the one thing worth giving up all that we have, to get is the kingdom of heaven. If you're sitting there and you don't agree with me, I challenge you to ask God if is, this is not true. Is it not true that the one thing you should sell everything you have, give up everything in your life for, is the kingdom of heaven? So for us today, it's, it's extremely clear. Jesus Christ is the pearl of great price. Jesus is the jewel of immeasurable value. Anything short of Christ is counterfeit. We're not to settle for an imperfect version of the one and only Son of God. We're never to place an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, an evangelist, a spouse, a family, a job, a church, a government, above that to which no one compares to. Who can compare to our God? 
Who is like unto him? There is none like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. And so we have to consider what we've done with our lives. Humanity in general has thrown itself down at the altar of entertainment, at the altar of sports, theater, music, today's social media and the like. We've given up thousands of hours, even years of our life, tons of our income to be entertained. So I need to ask myself and I need to ask you, have we sold all that we have for the one great pearl of life, Jesus Christ? Is it too radical to think that he is worthy of our all? Huh. Remember the words of Jesus in, in Luke 9, 23 and continuing through 25. And he said to them all, if any will come after me, any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what is a man advantaged if he gain the whole world and lose himself or be cast away? Now, honestly, honestly, we need to rethink this process of being a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you found the one pearl <laughs> that there is no other object or person in the world who can measure up to the one pearl and what have you done to obtain the pearl of great price Lord it humbles us to think that as valuable as you are and incomparably great and full of majesty power and glory that you have and you are that we would sell out for something less some gem on the planet, some entertainment for a few hours, some house, some vehicle, some, some hobby. Where are your disciples who sold out to you? Make me one of them. Make me one of them, Lord. Make me one of them for your name's sake. Call us. Speak to us, Lord. May we heed your voice. I thank you for it. Thank you that you will not be silent in this hour, in this day that we need those who believe to stand up and be counted. Thank you. Amen. Have a great day.